A disturbing accusation tonight by a Frisco fifth grader. His mother says what happened to her 11 year old in an elementary school bathroom sent her to police. Our JD Miles, the only television reporter that mother is speaking to tonight, he's joining us live at Elliott Elementary School. JD, she is questioning how Frisco ISD handles student violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Doug, the accuser's mother is furious over how she says the school handled these accusations. Her son is a fifth grader who says he was groped in a bathroom here. Even though she says he was the victim, she says he was asked to sign this stay away order along with the male student who's accused of bullying and assaulting him. This 11 year old student at Elliott Elementary told his parents about it immediately when he got home from school. And he was confused that the school had not yet told us what happened. What happened in a school bathroom here is now being investigated by McKinney police. The 11 year old claims a student who had previously bullied him started shaking the stall he was in. My son came out of the stall and said, why are you doing this? And the boy proceeded to grab my son by the neck, push him into the wall, choking him, grabbed his genitals and said, because I can. The student's mother, Courtney Brooks, says school administrators didn't notify her or police about the incident. Instead, she says they wanted both students to sign a pledge to stay away from each other for three months. I was appalled and I was angry and I was confused. Brooks believes a crime was committed and filed a report with McKinney Police, which released a statement saying only we are investigating an incident that occurred at the stated location. Frisco ISD released a statement saying, we would like to take this opportunity to assure our community that any and all allegations of sexual abuse assault are taken seriously. He's smaller and that's one of the reasons he thinks he's being picked on. The mother of the alleged victim says he's still in fear of the other student and she has refused to sign the stay away pledge. She accuses Frisco Independent School District of worrying more about its image than bullied students. I think they don't want a stat of assault or sexual assault on their school because it'll make them look bad. It's just victim blaming. Now, Brooks says only days after this reported incident that the school actually scheduled the boys to go off together on a field trip, which she thought showed a real lack of concern or compassion for what her son says he went through. Again, both boys are apparently still in school here with no reported disciplinary action. Live in McKinney, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.